Hello, this is Omer Asas, also known as Silent Shot, and you're sitting there thinking right now, this video could possibly be one of the best videos ever because it's 10 minutes long, or one of the worst videos ever because it's 10 minutes long, but hopefully it's the best one because you can listen to my sexy voice and your eyes can watch the sexy gameplay. But before I actually get into what I want to talk about, the first thing I want to say is please go to the adjustment button on that YouTube thingamajig and hit it up to 720. Watch this video in 720 because it will look so much better and you'll enjoy it more because your eyes will be like, oh my god, brain, this is so much better than 360, whatever it is. But anyways... After you do that, I just want to talk about this video. This video is a sniper gameplay, which I do pretty good on Hardpoint on Plaza on Black Ops 2. But anyways, making videos are like making babies. And you're probably like, so, to make a baby, you have to make a video. No, you have to make a video to make a beautiful baby. To get a beautiful video, you have to make a beautiful baby. And you know how babies are made? They're made in nine months. You're going to get the birds and the bees talk. Not really. But making this video beautiful and making it a beautiful baby, you know, I put a little color correction, I put some time and effort into it, you know, do a little cropping here and there maybe, and that makes the video so much more beautiful, which makes a beautiful baby, so, you know, hopefully you enjoy the beautifulness. But anyways, I've been rambling a lot for the past minute and a half, and I, the thing I really want to talk about is my first impressions of Black Ops 2 and some of the teammates that are on Team Omit's first impressions. So it's pretty much going to be like a pro and a con video. So I'm going to get the cons out of the way. First thing I'd like to say is the matchmaking. If you didn't know, there's about a 99% chance that there is skill-based matchmaking. And if you don't know what that is, it means they pair you up people with somewhat relative to the same, st same stats as you. And you get wrecked if you're a sniper. So I snipe in Black Ops 2 and the majority of my kills are with the sniper which I have like a 1.63 KD while sniping and this puts me against 1.6 KDers with regular guns that are super dry hard MLG SMG laser pointer shooting from the hip pros which allows me not to get as many game plays and it's very frustrating because I get crapped on I die in one second and my scope doesn't come up half the way when I die and it's frustrating because in Modern Warfare 3 you could run around and you could kill people even if they shot you first and it was like yes you got outplayed by a sniper and you're using an ACR just for example but in Black Ops 2 for some reason I get to seem to be killed every the time with SMGs while I can't even pull up my scope to actually snipe someone and if you miss your first shot with either the blister or the DSR you are pretty much in the toilet because you're gonna die because it's almost impossible to get away with it unless you're playing with people with no hands and about the gameplay I'm pretty much playing against people with no hands because I go ridiculously good sniping in Black Ops 2 and I was just like freaking out when I got it also I had good teammates too which helped out but you know the matchmaking is very frustrating. That's why they put in league play, even though no one plays league play. That's supposed to be where you put against people your own skill, but I feel like public is the same way. You get, you get put up against people your own skill, and it's frustrating. I just want to go out there, snipe a bunch of little children in the face so I can get the game play and talk over it and not get the YouTube money because I'm not in it for the YouTube money. But, you know, it's just frustrating when you're put against people that only use regular guns and don't snipe at all it'd be nice if i got put up against like three snipers because it'd make my life so much easier even though i hate sniper lobbies but uh yeah that's about it for my little rant on the matchmaking the next thing is the lag compensation so supposedly like in modern warfare 3 the there is lag compensation and lag well there's always been a lot of lag in Treyarch games mainly like Black Ops 1 for me lagged an incredible amount and Black Ops 2 lagged for me I cannot snipe on three bars it's pretty much impossible for me to snipe on three bars because I get so frustrated and when you shoot someone with the sniper as you already know your bullet kind of traces where it goes but it's very frustrating when you see it bullet bullet trace go right through the guy's body and you don't even get a hit marker and then the guy kills you with an SMG and it's just like oh my god thank you David Vondahar for doing this lag to me and you know they should have put dedicated servers and then they would be like oh we don't have enough money to put dedicated servers and I'm like are you serious? Battlefield 3 can put dedicated servers, but you can't. Oh my god, the logic there. 
from the Call of Duty community is not there. I don't understand why they don't put dedicated servers just to make life so much easier so there wouldn't be lag and everyone would be really good on four bars and connection. But the lag in this game is awful, especially while sniping at least three out of five lobbies that I get into. I'm at least on a three bar and I have like an eight upload and like a 22 download, which I think is relatively good. And I'm on a wired connection on PS3 and it's kind of like aggravating to me when a guy that doesn't speak english that's probably from literally mexico not even a state in the united states but from mexico and pulls host while he's on four and everyone else is on three and two bars that is by far the most aggravating thing to me to do especially when you're sniping is to be on a three to two bar in black ops because it's very frustrating another con that i want to talk about are the smgs I already kind of talked about this in my matchmaking, but SMGs, even though they just sent out a patch for PS3 about two days ago, the SMGs are very powerful because I can get picked off across the map by an MSMC while I'm sniping and trying to hard scope him across the map. He can pick me off with the MSMC across the map with a silencer and laser pointer, and I'm baffled by it because some machine guns aren't supposed to do that from at least a hundred feet however call of duty determines that in the video game smg should at least take six bullets to kill but i seem to die in like three to four from across the map with a submachine gun in that game and the submachine guns they did patch them so they're not as strong so the bullet penetration doesn't work as much because in black ops 2 i seem to die so much behind walls they'll be shooting me cross walls and it's like oh my god how do you kill me through the damn wall and uh yeah they patched that and they i forgot what else they patched something but it's irrelevant to me because i only like to snipe even though i have like 600 kills with an smg uh, try hard a little bit but the next thing i want to talk about is the spawns and you're probably like spawns this isn't modern warfare 3 have you ever played free for all black ops 2 because when i play free for all black ops 2 i have people spawn right behind me or to the left or right of me and they kill me instantly the spawns in this game are bad for example have you ever played domination on hijacked let's just say you're in the spawn trap so they have c and b and you're getting spawn trapped at a you can't do anything unless they push up too far and you just die and die and die and die and die unless you stay in the back and lay down like a billy goat but the spawns are terrible like if there's a spawn trap going on, even though spawn traps are fun when you're in a full party, but when you're in the spawn trap, it's very frustrating because you can't get off, especially in hijacked. You can just get spawn trapped through the butthole, and that's how all these sniper people get clips. They spawn trap them at one flag, and they get like a quad feed, and they think they're all mighty because they can spawn trap them with a full team of tryhards, and then you're sniping, and it's like, oh my god, I got a quad feed. But uh, I hit a triple in Modern Warfare 3 the other night, most random triple in my life. I just wanted to tell you that because, you know, I switch back and forth. You know, I don't hate Black Ops 2 completely, but it's not the greatest Call of Duty ever. So I switch back and forth to Modern Warfare 3. And then I get on my third game. I hit like a triple and I just go nuts. I started screaming my, uh, my head off and I was just like, oh my God, I just hit a random triple. And I woke up a kid that was in a party's mom because I was screaming so loud. Long story short, don't freak out when you hit a clip. But anyways, let's talk about a pro that I can think of. A pro would have to be the sniping. It's new. It's not like Black Ops 1. You can actually kill people while quick scoping. The scope doesn't come up like you have some kind of Down Syndrome disease or something. It actually comes up straight. But I don't like that the ballistic gets a lot of hit markers. But then you're going to be like, how about you aim up more, son, you faggot. And, you know, I still get hit markers when I shoot people in the nuts. Like... If you shoot someone with the nuts with a sniper rifle, like in any COD, their nuts should be blown off and you should get the kill. But no, I got a lot of hit markers shooting people in the nuts, especially in the, you know, the chest sometimes with the ballista. I don't know, maybe just with the way I scope in and where I zoom doesn't uh, happen to kill them. But I'm not really sure the pro. I really like the sniping. You know, I like the score streaks because score streaks are new and innovating. It's actually something refreshing compared to the kill streaks, but score streaks are fun to use. Um, zombies, because zombies is always good. Track always makes great zombies mode. And, you know, even though I don't play it a lot, I still enjoy it when I do. Um, that's pretty much about it for pros. One more con that I have is the, you know, 
what was I going to say? I don't know, but the gameplay is coming to an end. This commentary is coming to an end. Ten minutes of glory and greatness from me. I forgot what my last con was, but it's a good game overall. But, you know, oh, it freezes a lot on PS3. It always freezes on me. Con, it freezes a ton load on that. But hopefully you enjoy show. See you later.